What we've tried to do is provide the online education of a high quality of, in the same way that we provide our typical trainer trainer package. That was a difficult task uh, because one of the things we're always trying to do with our train the trainer programs is make it as stimulating and as practical as possible. Now at some point in any training you have to sit people down and, and pass over, over a level of education and we try and do various things in that to make it interactive and to keep people moving around and, and thinking about it and, and, and learning through activity. But certainly as we move towards the back end of the trainer program, we, we, we have various practical exercises and that's where you see people's confidence grow and the skills grow and they, you, you really start to interact with people to find out what they're learning and how much they're actually getting from the training. Now that, that is obviously quite a difficult task to do from an internet point of view. So we looked at that long and hard because that is the critical part of the training to get it right. And what I think we've managed to do in the training is by actually taking the, the people carrying out the training to a virtual incident and actually immersing them into that incident, we've managed to, I think to the greater degree, if not better, to actually get that level of stimulation and to get that level of training really up and going and get people thinking they're in at the incident and learning the skills and ultimately getting confident in what they're doing as well. So really I think that's how we managed to, to get that replicated and we're, we're very happy with it. Um, if I had to pick a part of the process that I enjoyed the most, I'd probably say the test section was, was quite good fun for me personally. I come from a film background originally. Um, so what that enabled us to do was to go into a blue screen environment and actually film a multiple casualty incident. So people turned up with various injuries, broken arms, fractures, uh, uh, all kinds of quite gruesome things in some respects, but um, that was good fun to film and then to composite that in a, in a video composition program and bring it to life by making it interactive. So we have many elements coming together, not just we have an actor's performance, we have the, the walk around, which is again simulating what would happen in the traditional method of, tra uh, of testing people as well. Um, and this all comes together online and on the screen, so people then presented with a casualty and uh, the, various, the various tools that you would have as a first responder um, come onto the screen as well and you're able to then use them, interact with them fully and then get assessed from that. It was a challenge but it was very good fun and I think it's come together very, very well. We've got lots of ideas about where we want to take it next. Um, additional modules, again from the training point of view, but as far as the virtual incident side goes, we'd love to make that multi-user. We want to create lots more environments for managers to be able to set up their own incidents and do lots of things like that. As I said, there's lots of things we can do with it. I think right now we want to get it out there and working and get the people trained up to you for multiple casualty uh, response, get, get them more familiar with the equipment, get people used to, used to this type of training and, um, and then we can build on it from there.